What's going on guys? Johnny with Blades Grass Lawn Care. It is currently raining and I just received a package from the Toro company and I want to show you guys what I got. So here it is guys. And again, it's about the product and not the location. Uh, I sure Tank and Bella wouldn't mind. Do you guys mind if I film in here? No? Okay, good. This is a Toro 60 volt super recycler with the personal pace auto drive. And the model number for this mower is that comes with the headlights. So this mower came with the mower, a flex force 60 volt 7.5 amp battery, a charger, a two bushel bagger, an economy blade, which is installed, and a curved performance blade, which I will install. And the difference between the economy blade and the curved performance blade is this one has the, uh, it looks like a medium lift blade compared to the other one. Okay guys, so when you first get the mower, you see this little screw and bushing? The first thing you have to do, if you're a tall individual, and hold on, let me go ahead and take this off for you. All right, so if you're a tall individual guys, this is where it'll come, the screw. All you have to do is take it and move it over. And I'm doing it with one hand into the slot on the top. So you see that there's one in the bottom and there's one on the top. So put it in a slot on the top and reinstall. There you go. Now it's reinstalled into the second hole, which Again, I'm 5'9", so it's comfortable for me, the handle as far as uh, the height. So in order to install the battery on this model, guys, all you have to do is push right here, and it opens. Grab the battery, and insert it into the slot, and listen for the click. There you go. We have a full battery. And to close it, all you do is close it and hear the click. As you can tell on this model, guys, you have the small wheel in front and the larger wheel in the back for better traction. And they are rubber wheels. The deck is a metal deck, aluminum. And you have individual wheel height adjustments from one inch all the way up to four inches. So again, it is uh, individually adjusted from one inch to four inch. One feature that I like about this mower, guys, is that you can fold it by releasing the lever here, releasing the other lever here, and just folding the entire unit. And raise it up. and it says upward. And for you guys that are technical, when it comes to uh, what type of transmission does it have, it has a rear wheel transmission. The mower comes with a motion plug. You raise the back and you press right here, this is a lever right here, and you remove the motion plug, that's the back end, and you can reinstall it, I'm doing it with one hand, there you go. Alright guys, to start the unit, you'll pull down on the lever, 
hold it in place and then you press auto start. And to move it forward, all you do is push down and it moves forward. And it stops. Now one thing that I didn't like about this mower just at the beginning is that it doesn't have a self-propel movement from one point to the other you know where the wheels will turn without the blade being engaged but the wheels are so easy and this machine is as it's not as heavy as the other machines so moving it from point a to point b is not an issue but still sometimes you know you're going uphill or whatever the case might be i would love if they would have actually put a way that you can just move the machine without having to turn the blade on but if you do need to move the machine up a hill or whatever the case might be, turn the blade on, make sure that your mower is as high as possible when it comes to the height, and you can transport it from point A to point B. Now this machine comes with headlights, yes. And here is my, <laughs> here I am at nighttime. There you go, I'm mowing at nighttime, just showing you the headlights real quick. And again, you know, it comes handy when you wanna mow, I guess, super early in the morning or late in the evening uh, at least you have headlights and they are super bright as well so this mower gives you up to 50 minutes of runtime and it is again guys made with commercial quality material and i will be mowing with this from this point on guys so ensure that you like and subscribe to my channel and you will see this more in action and we will put it through what i usually mow guys um i'm not gonna put this in any overgrown grass because again i don't service overgrown properties i service weekly and by weekly accounts detailed accounts and you guys have been following me for a while know what kind of properties i service so i'm not gonna go out my way <laughs> to uh, put this in something that I personally don't uh, use it for, right? All right, guys, uh, leave your comments in the comment section. Uh, I think this mower goes for 749 bucks at my Home Depot. But again, guys, um, you know, Google it. Ensure that you uh, check your local Home Depot. And again, guys, Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Have a great one. See you on the next one. Pop Smoke. Peace.